Oi lads, it's Danny here today, bring you a video, this time a proof. Why is x to the power of naught, or zero, equal to one? Right, so why is this? Why is five to the power of naught equal to one? Why is a million to the power of naught equal to one? Why is this? Well, I'll show you lot why that is. It's trying to solve this proof. So let's get right into it. So x to the power of null could be rewritten as x to the power of 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is equal to naught. So this is an equivalent expression, right? So x to the power of 1 minus 1 could be expanded using the laws of exponents as x to the power of 1 multiplied by x to the power of negative 1. And once you reach this stage right here, you got a variable to a negative exponent. So you can move it in the denominator and create a division. So this could be rewritten as x to the power of 1 divided by x to the power of 1 because it moved into the denominator. And this ultimately will be equal to 1 and this is the reason why you can have any number in the of the base of the exponent you can have any number and it's going to be equal to 1 so that's how you solve this type of proof and we're going to do a lot more proofs in the in the future episodes where I'm going to show you a lot the little tips and tricks on how you can solve different types of proof in your mathematics classes so I hope you lot enjoyed this video if this video has helped you a lot Please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. So take care and don't go missing. See ya. Bye.